This episode is designed to introduce you to the ADDIE stage of implementation or implement. The purpose of this is to prepare the learning environment and engage the students. So that's the, the role in which implementation plays in the ADDIE paradigm. And if you look at it again, this is the fourth of the five stages of the ADDIE paradigm. So the implementation phase has two specific procedures. The first is prepare the student or prepare the learner. The second is prepare the teacher or prepare the facilitator. The deliverable that you'll have at the end of the implementation phase is an implementation strategy. Let's take a quick look at these two items. Um, so the expectation is to generate an implementation strategy and the implementation strategy is going to have two components. The first is a learner plan or a student plan and the second is a facilitator or teacher plan. The learner plan will end up with four items. Um, the first is it will have an identification of who your students or who your learners will be. It will have a specific schedule that outlines the when the students will be participating and what exactly they will their participation what form their participation will take um, it will have a listing of all of the pre-course communications that should be relayed to the students it will also have a tracking system um, that can be used to monitor the students progress in the course um, if you look at for example this last one um, this could be as simple as the traditional teacher's books that you would have in a K-12 environment um, or as sophisticated as some of the software that's available now for reporting student grades or even if you think about Blackboard, the massive amounts of data that Blackboard uh, keeps from the number of times you click on a particular content item to the last time you logged in to how long you spent on the items to a system that allows me to report grades to you. Similarly, the facilitator plan is going to identify the teachers or facilitators. It will also provide the teacher with a schedule of the training sessions and not necessarily you know it's going to be Monday Tuesday and Wednesday but what you will do on a minute by minute basis on Monday on Tuesday on Wednesday and it will also include a section that provides uh, preparation for the facilitators specifically a train the trainer agenda you know this is the opportunity to tr provide the teacher with the required training that they will need in order to be able to facilitate the training so when you look at these two components the learner plan and the facilitator plan they come together to form a single document called the implementation strategy the two episodes that you look at this week are designed to provide you with an overview of each of those areas. So the prepare the student, which would allow you to generate the learner plan, and the prepare the teacher, which will allow you to generate the facilitator plan. So looking at this implementation strategy, it's going to be used by four different groups or for four different purposes. Uh, first, it's going to keep the client informed about how the training is going and specifically the preparations that are being made prior to actually implementing the training. It's going to provide those who are responsible for the training with a detailed schedule of when the training will happen and what will happen during the training. It will re provide a mechanism for tracking the students and it will also um, be used by those who are evaluating the course and that's important because that's going to be our next and final stage in the ADDI paradigm. So again this has been a quick overview of the implement or implementation phase of the ADDI paradigm.